Should you run ads from your personal Facebook business page or a branded Facebook business page? In this video, I'm going to answer that question. Hey, Dadpreneurs, welcome back. It's Adam Dukes here. I'm obviously doing uh, changing up things a little bit, changing up the scenery, getting behind my desk and doing videos here in the Man Cave, here in uh, the Dadpreneur World Headquarters here in uh, Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, as you can see, uh, this is one of my favorite posters. He's a bunch of guys. Rockefeller Center, 1932. These guys are up eating lunch, smoking cigarettes. This guy's drinking a flask on some steel beam. Shit, I don't know, 800 feet above New York City. No safety harnesses, no safety gear. These guys are badasses. Um, they're also crazy. <laughs> but a kind of cool picture to look at how far we've come um, since 1932 of these guys, like I said, sitting on this beam. So anyways, in this video, I'm going to share with you, uh, should you run ads from a branded page? Branded page meaning like a city-specific page. Uh, for example, I have a page called Shop Local Vegas. I also have a page called like Affordable Homes. I have a page called Living in Las Vegas. I have a page called Living Centennial Hills Living, I think it's named, which is an uh, area up in Las Vegas. So those are kind of branded pages. And then this there is also uh, your name, your name pages. So this applies more for like loan officers, mortgage brokers, real estate agents, insurance agents, B2B marketers, consultants, uh, kind of professional services uh, and when you're doing uh, that type of business. Um, I got a YouTube comment on this very question about two months ago. I apologize for the late reply. Uh, I honestly just saw it a couple days ago and it made me think of something. Shit, this is a common question. I've been asked this before. I should probably shoot a video on it. So here we are. So I've ran pages from people's names, Joe Smith, the loan officer, Joe Smith, the realtor. And I've also ran ads from pages like Living in Las Vegas. Also have ran ads from pages like Nurse Life, Teacher Life, Senior Life. Veterans life, you know, targeting those specific niches, obviously. So the, the there's, those are going to convert. Typically, the, the test I've done, I haven't run a ton of tests on them, but comparing the two, uh, for example, like living in Las Vegas to John Smith, the real estate agent. The living in Las Vegas is typically going to convert quite a bit better than John Smith. Um, so you're going to get more leads at a cheaper cost. However, you lose out on the power of branding because uh, you're branding that page, living in Las Vegas or whatever it is. Uh, so you miss out on the power of branding. On the other hand, John Smith, you're not getting maybe the immediate leads or the cheap leads uh, from day one. However, you're branding. And over time, they're going to recognize John Smith. John Smith. I keep seeing John Smith, this loan officer, whatever. Hopefully you're giving them value, things like that. They're going to register after six months, after nine months, after 12 months. That's where you're going to start to see the power of the branding. So that's why I love Facebook. It's great for branding. It's great for direct response lead generation. And you can really do the two of them. A few weeks ago, I shot a video. Uh, on a Facebook video ad strategy on how to marry the two together. Now, it's it's about using Facebook video, but you can most certainly adjust it to using just written content or audio content, whichever you prefer, because I know a lot of people fear the camera, fear getting on camera. So that's a great video kind of outlining, like I said, merging the two together and building something to generate leads today, but also building brand long term. So if it were me, if I were a real estate agent or insurance salesman or a loan officer, I would go with the personal page with like Adam Duke's insurance agent. Uh, that's what I would do because I'm thinking long term. I'm thinking two, three, four years out. I'm not really thinking about right now. I know I might be paying a little bit more cost per leads, uh, leads cost on the front end. However, I'm thinking the long term. I want that branding to come in play. So I'm going to be generating the leads, but I'm also going to be getting the branding. So you're doing both when you're doing it with your own name. Um, on the other hand, the branded pages, you're not getting that benefit. You're, you're not getting that branding benefit. And that's a big one. Branding obviously is very, very hard to measure in dollars and cents or return on investment. It's tough uh, to measure. So a lot of people um, don't, uh, don't go with the branding and or don't have the patience for it, which I get it. I was like that too for many, many years. I'm bad with patience. So that's it for this video. That is what I would do. There's not a right or wrong way. Whatever way works for you. D to try both if you want. See what works better for you and go from there. That's really the only way, but that's what I would do um, if it were me. But again, try both. Give it a try. See what works better for you. Hey, if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click that little bell notification because I release videos every Monday and Thursday for your viewing pleasure. As always, if you have comments, questions, or concerns, please drop them down below. I'll do my absolute best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll find someone who can or try to point you in the right resource or do my best job um, to try to help you out. Uh, again, once again, thanks again for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Thank you.